In this video, learn all about American English vowels, short and long sounds. Learn how to correctly pronounce all of these words based on their spellings. Bat, bait, bet, beat, bit, bite, bought, boat, butt, and butte. And yes, all of those are pronounced differently in English. So stay tuned for an overview of the American English vowel system in this video lesson. English has a lot of vowels, more than many other languages. And the English vowel system can be somewhat confusing because spelling doesn't always correspond exactly to pronunciation. But contrary to what you may believe, spelling is helpful in allowing you to guess how to say the majority of words. So there are a few different ways we might categorize vowels. In this video, I'm going to talk about the vowel categories used in phonics. Phonics is the system we generally use to teach native English speakers to read and write. It's also useful to help non-native speakers determine English pronunciation based on spelling. I'm curious, can you let me know in the comments section if you were taught English pronunciation using phonics when you started learning English? Please type yes or no and the name of your country in the comments section below. Now, phonics classifies vowels as long vowels, short vowels, and other vowels. I'll give you all the details of short and long vowels in this video. We'll save the other vowels for another lesson. So each of the English vowels has what we call a short sound and a long sound. So the letter A has two sounds, A and A. E has two sounds. E and E. I has two. I and I. O has two. O and A. U has two. U and A. So first, let's talk about how you can use spelling to predict vowel pronunciation in most cases. There's an easy way to remember which vowels are long and which are short based on their spelling. Short vowels are generally spelled with one vowel letter in a syllable, while long vowels are spelled with two vowel letters within a syllable. Easy, right? Short vowel, one vowel spelling. Long vowel, two vowel spelling. Let me show you what I mean with some very simple words. Short A, A. Long A, eight. Short A, ran. Long A, rain. Short E, men. Long E, mean. Short E, set. Long E, seat. Short I, win. Long I, wine. Short I, sit. Long I, sight. Short O, not. Long O, note. Short O, rod. Long O, road. Short U, cut. Long U, cute. Short U, hug. Long U, huge. Now that you're able to identify short versus long vowels in writing, let me give you a general idea of the difference in their pronunciation. Long vowels sound like the name of their alphabet letter. A long A is pronounced A. A long E is pronounced E. A long I is pronounced I. A long O is pronounced O. And a long U is pronounced U. You probably have several of these long vowels in your native language. But they're likely a little different than the English version. And don't forget, I'm talking about standard American English pronunciation. Other varieties of English pronounce some of these vowels differently, and that includes some dialects of American English too. 
there are a couple of things that make American English long vowels different from vowels in your native language. R sound is likely to be more tense and is a blend of two vowel sounds. Let me explain. Let's look at the long A. In American English, it sounds like this, A. If you slow it down, you notice that it's actually made up of two different vowel sounds. First, we start with an A sound, and then we finish with an E sound, like this, A, A. Notice how my mouth moves from one sound to the other within the actual sound. A. This blend of two vowel sounds is called a diphthong. So our English long vowel sounds are actually diphthongs. They are not single vowel sounds like they may be in your language. Because of this, you'll find that our A sound may take longer to pronounce than your A sound. And that it also has a glide between those two different sounds. Our long vowels are also tense, meaning that the muscles of your mouth, your face, and your tongue are tense as you say these vowels. A, A. And yes, I am exaggerating the muscle tension and the length of the vowel so you can easily hear what I'm talking about. In normal speech, it will be less obvious than that. Now, here are some common words that have a long A. Change, late, train, wait, detail, stay, today, and maybe. And the long A keyword from the introduction is bait. Let's look at the remaining long vowels and see how they have similar characteristics. Long E is pronounced E. It almost sounds like I say E twice, or maybe that another E or a Y sound is added to make it a diphthong. Make sure to stretch it out like I do and to hold your muscles tight. Look how tense my mouth is as I say it. My tongue is also tense. E. I suggest using a small mirror to look at your mouth to make sure your mouth looks like mine. Now here are some common words that have a long E. Clean, easy, reason, free, sleep, weekend, 15, completely, and evening. And the long E keyword from the introduction is beat. Now the long I. This is a blend of the ah and e sounds. So this one is a true official diphthong, or a blend of two vowel sounds. I. Like all vowels, it's tense. I. Feel that tension in your face, in your mouth, and even in your tongue. Now here are some common words with the long I. Drive mile, price, decide, pie, and dried. The long E keyword is bite. Now the long O is also a diphthong, or a blend of two vowel sounds. O. Notice how it glides between an O and a U sound. O. Here are some common words with the long O. Home, note, phone, Coach, goal, soap, and toe. And our long O keyword is boat. Long U also stretches and glides. U. It starts with a Y sound and sounds like we say U almost twice. U. Here are some common words with the long U sound. Use, volume. Contribute, schedule, argue, value, and continue. And the long U keyword is butte. Let's practice the long vowel keywords from the introduction now in alphabetical order. B, 
bait, beat, bite, boat, beaut. And those are your five long vowels in English. Which of the long vowels do you have and not have in your language? It's a good idea to take note of this. You'll need to spend extra time learning the sounds that you do not have in your native language or the previous languages that you've learned. Now let's look at the short vowels. Most languages don't have all of our short vowels, so there are probably some vowel sounds here that are new for you and that you'll need to spend some extra time learning and practicing. The American English short vowels are a, e, i, a, and a. Uh. If you remember, short vowels are usually spelled with only one vowel letter in a syllable. A short a is spelled with a single a, a short e, a single e, and a short i with a single i, and so on. To correctly pronounce short vowel sounds, there's one main thing to remember. Short vowels are relaxed. You want to release all tension in your mouth and your tongue when you pronounce a short vowel. So release it all. Let everything soften. Let's start with the short A. A. This is probably a sound you don't have in your native language. Take a look at my mouth on how to pronounce it. A. First, your tongue needs to touch the inside of your bottom front teeth. And then you want to open your mouth completely. A. A. Here are some common words that have a short A. Class, tax, family, and travel. And the short A keyword from the introduction is bat. Now the short E. Eh. Like the short A, the short E is a front vowel. So again, place your tongue on your bottom front teeth. Right down here. Eh. Eh. For the eh, your mouth is a little bit more closed than it was for the short A sound. Let's compare the two sounds. Short A first, and then short E. Ah, eh, ah, eh. Notice for the short E, my jaw drops less than it does for the short A. Eh, ah. Now let's try it in a couple of words. Man, men. Remember that all short vowels are relaxed sounds. So again, make sure to relax all the muscles of your face, your mouth, and your tongue when you pronounce your relaxed short vowels. Ah, eh. Man, men. Here are some common words that have a short E. Tell, help, extra, enjoy, and special. And the short E keyword is bet. Now the short I. I. Also a front vowel, so put your tongue on your bottom front teeth and don't forget to relax everything. Your mouth is just a little bit open for this vowel sound. I. I. You'll notice it's much less open than it was for the A eh and A eh sounds. Let's compare the short I with the short E and the short A in that order. I, E, A. I, E, A. Here are three similar words for comparison. Bit, bet, bat. Here are three more. Tin, ten, pan. The short I is one of our most common vowel sounds and you probably don't have it in your native language. As it's in so many words, I encourage you to spend some time learning how to correctly pronounce it. And here are some common words that have a short I. Kid, ring, city, dinner, little, million, minute, and visit. And our short I keyword is bit. Now let's look at the short O. 
The short O is a central vowel, so you'll need to pull your tongue back a little from your front teeth to pronounce it. And open your mouth as big as possible. Ah. Ah. Good news, you probably have this sound in your native language, so you should have no problem pronouncing it. The trick is recognizing it based on its spelling. You may incorrectly think it's the sound an A makes, but in English, we consider it an O. So you can expect some of our English written O's to be pronounced as A ah in English. Here are some common words that have a short O. Clock, college, doctor, dollar, shopping, and holiday. And the short O keyword is but. And finally, we have the short U. Like the short O, the short U is a central vowel. Pull your tongue back a bit from your bottom front teeth. And your mouth will only be open about halfway for this sound. Let's compare the short O with the short U in that order. Ah, uh, ah, uh. Bot, but. Notice how much more my jaw drops for the ah sound for the short O than for the short U. Ah, uh. Here are a couple of more words. Box, bucks. And here are some common words that have a short U. Bus, run, funny, hundred, husband, number, and suggest. And the short U keyword is but. Now here's a quick summary of the short vowel keywords from the introduction in alphabetical order. Bat, bet, bit, bot, but. Again, think about which of the short vowels you're missing in your native language. Please tell me in the comments what your native language is and which sounds you don't have. I hope this video helps clear up some of the confusion surrounding English vowel sounds. Thanks for watching and being part of my channel. If you like my channel, please help me grow it so I can continue providing free content. Like the video, post comments, share with friends, and subscribe. If you'd like more detailed information on any of the vowels in this video, I've included links to the individual videos in the description of the video and the comments section below. I'm in the process of creating a video for each vowel sound. So why not keep improving your English by watching a few more? I hope you find them helpful. See you again soon.